I want to learn SQL but before that you need to download some workbench what I'm going to download here is my SQL which I will be using in learning of my SQL alright so we need to download this first so let's go to the Google download my SQL by window alright you need to go to the MySQL of okay so here we are now we need to go to the mysql community gpl download now you need to download mysql installer for the window okay here we are now we need to okay what do we need to download here okay let me just tell you the difference between the first file and the second file in the second file all things are pre-downloaded you don't need to download anything else after uh, installing that uh, after installing that but in the first one you will need to have the internet access to download the component which you're gonna need in mysql and i'm gonna prefer the first one because uh, we don't need to download all the components uh, in mysql okay so i already downloaded this and now i have to install it I guess I uh, need to upgrade something in my system but maybe it doesn't occur in system so you may not need to worry about this whatever happened here okay I'm going for the custom one but it depends on you uh, whatever components you want to have in your MySQL so I would prefer to go with the custom <laughs> I really don't know okay you can uh, uh, you can install the sample uh, samples and examples too so I don't know anything about MySQL so I would prefer to download this thing all right Okay, maybe you get this error too. So all you need to do is go to the Google and download that file which our MSQL is asking for. okay you would be wondering that one file is missing from here the example and the sample file because uh, I'm having a really slow internet so I try to install and uh, try to download these files for more than two times so as it was my third attempt to download these files so we're gonna go next we're gonna install and then back for it again hopefully it works fine now it works fine now it works fine now
I just guess I'm having some problem in my server stuff so I need to reconfigure that all right okay okay here it is asking for the root password and what is do it is your default user on the mysql you can add the more users from here and whatever your password you put here you're gonna have to use it whenever you want to make any server project or mysql project on that uh, i'll go the default settings here okay we are good to go now i guess okay let me open my project again my school connection again okay it's working fine now okay it's working fine now i have executed a line of code but we are fine here this was all about the installation of mysql